Hey guys, Team Natty back here again with another video. And um, this one is going to be one of my first book reviews. Uh, I've got two more book reviews I'm gonna do real quick. Uh, so in the next couple days you'll see those and then I'll have an update video about what's gonna go on. So uh, this book review, Perks of Being a Wallflower, The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chobsky. Chobosky? I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I, I, I haven't looked into it, but I'll tell you what. Uh, before I had read this book, I had watched the movie, so I had preconceived notions of what the characters should look like and stuff, and I believe this book came out after the movie because it's got the actors on the cover. Uh, I should say actors and act one, the actress, Emma Watson. I guess the author directed the movie, though, uh, as well, which is kind of cool because that allows it to be more of his image of what he thought. So I think it's a purer movie than some movies where, you know, Harry Potter, Warner Brothers, and they have a director, and he gets his hands on it and decides what like his creative processes and who, who he's, who he's going to cast and all that jazz. Um, I think it lets it be a lot less tainted when the author is also the director. Um, but fantastic book, really easy and fast read. It just barely pushes over 200 pages. I think it's at 213 is the long, uh, the, yeah, the length of it in this paperback version, at least 213 pages. This is a really fun and easy read. It's fantastic. It reminds me a lot of high school in my freshman year, actually, um, just because I had senior friends when I was a freshman as well. And it just, it brings you back. It really throws you back into that high school experience, you know, the things you deal with, the situations, the people, uh, but it takes the position of, um, uh, of a kid. <laughs> the main character is named Charlie. He's a kid. Uh, going into his first year of high school um, and he uh, he writes letters to an anonymous person uh, just kind of like so he says so he can make sure someone out there is listening so someone knows what's going on and hears them so you can get his feelings out um, but you are like this supposed friend or whatever you're reading these letters as if he's sending them to you which is kind of cool um, but it's all like letter format it's got dates it's like at the end sign you know love Charlie stuff like that um, it has a little bit more insight than the movie. There's a couple other things I think that happen in this book that do not take place in the movie, which explain a lot more, at least for me it did, and I felt way more related to the characters, and I just had a lot, a lot of fun with this book. I liked it better than the movie. Um, I just could not stop picking it up. Every, uh, like every chance I had to read it, I would. Uh, finished it real quick. Um, has some fantastic quotes on, uh, within it. Like, um, one of the, like the... Main quotes, the super popular quote, very early on, page 24. Um, we accept the love we think we deserve. That is a huge quote uh, in the movie and in the book. And that takes place real early on. And it's got, you know, it handles drugs, love, abuse, uh, all that jazz. Divorce, thoughts of suicide, uh, inclusion. All, really everything that you will experience in high school is, is within this book and I think it's definitely a fantastic read. Um, I thought it was I thought it was gonna be overrated. I honestly thought I'd pick it up and be like this book sucks. Well I think everyone just likes it because it's like the thing to like you know when you're a high schooler it's like the edgy thing to read but it it wasn't it, it was definitely entertaining. Uh, I recommend it highly recommend it to anyone who's looking for a good quick read fun book into that kind of thing young adult fiction or whatever you want to call this um the perks of being wallflower i'm sure you've read it but if you haven't pick it up i enjoyed it thoroughly and i'm a fantasy fiction kind of guy or a self-development book kind of guy i i could not get enough of this book so that's my two cents on this book hope you guys enjoyed this little review video i know it's my, my first book review video i'm just going to try to do everything about life now within this channel so keep your eyes out for the next one you guys take it easy as always team natty out